full time highlights. Andrew Vanzi early in the encounter took a target behind the goal. And here, Shanil Thomas rose for that delivery and couldn't guide the header on target in this five o'clock kickoff. Brian Brown was gifted a pass courtesy of Ricketts, stormed forward and was held up seemingly by Gawain Austin, fired wide in the end. Gawain Austin really played well for Chapleton Maroons, showing his quality as a defender. They had another opportunity, Lucas Lima storming forward, playing through with Brown, got a weak shot off, McKenzie followed up, and that was sent away by Vanzi. Here's another look at it, weak attempt. And that one didn't really connect well for McKenzie. Second half action now, Malik Stevens came in into his own. Deacon got it to him, got it to Ellis, and uh, it was in the back of the net, but the number 10, Malik Stevens, was offside in the build-up to that. Here another blunder for Montego United. Ellis with the shot, expertly saved by the Trinidadian custodian, Aaron Enil. Needed some treatment after that. It was in his midriff. Chapel Ellis always playing the bully ball. Montego Bay would continue to push forward, and this one, they got to Brown to Thomas who turned and fired and it was a crucial save by the custodian the Brazilian Vera Romario Smith sent this one forward and DeAndre Brown got on the end of it one faint one fire one goal two flips that was the sequence for DeAndre Brown, the substitute who came on and made the difference for Montego Bay United. Another look at it. Perhaps Gawain Austin won't want another look. Neither will he. William Ferreira, the custodian for Chapleton Maroons. That was the end of it. Montego Bay United getting the crucial three points.